Texas is child sacrifice. Tommy Nelson opposes a bill to make abortion illegal in Texas. Kick him out of the church. Kick your pastor out of the church. Your pastor is pro-life. He is not an abolitionist. He does not want to make abortion illegal. Yes, he is pro-life, which means he wants to regulate abortion. When, where, and how you can murder babies. But he opposes a bill to make abortion illegal in Texas. Confront your pastor. Tell him he needs to make abortion illegal in Texas. Support the bills that make abortion illegal. And quit being apathetic towards children. Number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. Children, ask your parents why it's legal to murder children. And why they do nothing to make it illegal. And why they go to a church where it's where the pastor is pro-life, but not an abolitionist. Tommy Nelson just wants to regulate abortion. He does not want to make it illegal. Stop, stop tithing to a church that will not make abortion illegal. That will not adopt these children in foster care that need to be adopted. Woe to you who make iniquitous decrees and protect them. Woe to you who ignore those that are being led to the slaughter. Your pastor is pro-life, but he is not acting Christian. It is wicked and evil to pass iniquitous decrees, and that is what the pro-life movement does. The pro-life movement regulates when, where, and how you can murder babies. But the Bible says, thou shalt not murder. Kick your pastor out of the church. Kick your elders out of the church. For they are evil and wicked men who are okay with child sacrifice. Who are okay with regulating child sacrifice. Yes, they are pro-life, but they are not Christian. They are evil and wicked men. Children, ask your parents why it's okay to murder babies in the womb and why these religious leaders will not oppose it. Look at your whitewashed tomb building that you're going to sing praises to God, but God hates your worship and he will not answer your prayers if you ignore child sacrifice, if you do not make it illegal. We need to stop acting like Christians and start being Christians. We need to do what the Word of God says, not just act like we're Christians. Woe to you, ma'am. Woe to you, sir, who ignore child sacrifice. For we are not called to be pro-life. We are called to be abolitionists, to make abortion illegal, not to regulate the murder of children. Hi, ma'am. Sir, you're preaching to the wrong church. We don't believe in abortions, and we want to shut down those clinics. So okay. you're talking to the wrong people. All right. Just so you know, your pastor, there's a bill that came up to make abortion illegal in Texas. He opposed illegal. He opposed it. You know why? Because he's a pro-lifer. He wants to regulate when, where, and how you murder babies. That's not Christian. That's satanic. We don't regulate abortion. He did what now? He opposes a bill to make abortion illegal. HB 948. Yeah, illegal. 948. 948. And, and he opposed it. All right. He didn't tell anybody in the church, right? All right. No no careful. Careful, his car right there. Ask children, children, little children, you know better than your parents. Ask your parents why it's legal to murder kids. Ask your parents why they do not make it illegal to murder kids. Why is the number one cause of death child sacrifice in the land? Children, ask your parents why they don't do anything to make abortion illegal. 
your pastor, Tommy Nelson, is a wicked and evil man. For when there was a chance to make abortion illegal in Texas, he, he opposed it. Your pastor is pro-life, which means he wants to regulate abortion. When, where, and how you can murder babies. But we should never regulate murder. Here is your train, amongst your holocaust. Sixty thousand babies will be murdered every year and you cannot sing loud enough to hide it. You must make abortion illegal. But here's your train. You can ignore the Holocaust if you want at your own peril. Your Holocaust and your train that testifies against you, your silence. Woe to you who have who support iniquitous decrees, who do not defend the innocent, who do not hold back those that are being led to the slaughter. Woe to you who grow fat in the day of slaughter, who ignore child sacrifice in the land.